Welcome to One Million Cups. Raise your hand if this is your first time here. All the. I want to welcome and just kind of introduce the Teen Idea Labs guys. Hey, everybody, raise your hand if you're part of the. Yeah. We'll talk about that more here in a little bit. So, well, One Million Cups. If this is your first time here, a basic format. We have two entrepreneurs that present each week. They get six minutes to present and then 20 minutes of you drilling them. No, 20 minutes of Q&A, of you asking them questions about their idea, where they're at in their product lifestyle cycle, and, um, and really you getting a chance to learn from them and them getting a chance to learn from you. That's what this is all about, is that we're getting to learn together. We're really thankful that Kaufman allows us to use their space, so a little housekeeping things. When you're done, take your coffee cups, just throw them in the trash, not a big deal. And if you see someone with Kaufman, thank them for letting us be here. Um, each week, we come here at the same time, same place, um, same coffee. I think that's what we're going for. And what we're trying to figure out is, is can we build an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial community around one million cups of coffee? So drink as much coffee as you can, because we're really still trying to drive up to that. If you have any questions, if you want to present um, at any point in time, go to the one million cups dot com. And there's uh, the ability for you to go into Kansas City, and then you can actually register to um, attend if you want to tell us that you're coming. Not required, but if you want to. And then uh, register to present if you want to present. Uh, we will get back to you as quickly as possible. I'm George Brooks. I own a company here in town. I do not work for Kaufman. I'm an entrepreneur like you guys. And it's myself, Mike Craig, and John McGovern, which I don't think John's here this week because he's in Denver. Which, big news, we are launching Denver One Million Cups today. Yeah. And, and what was oh, that's right, in Chapel Hill. So, clap again. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, you're not here to listen to me to talk, but let's go ahead and get on to the entrepreneurs. Okay, who here is a little tired? Just a little bit. Who here didn't sleep very good last night? Aha, so you have customers. Okay, so I um, want to go ahead and bring up Very Sleepy, and uh, I think when we had this uh, introduction, I was really excited about it because actually this is something that my family suffers with, and I've heard others already conversation this morning that suffer with the lack of sleep, so I'll get them to talk about the cure for it almost. So this is Greg and Adrian Doring with Very Sleepy. Thank you so much. We are honored and thrilled to be here at One Million Cups. As George said, I'm Greg Doring, and this is my wife, Adrian. forgot to turn my mic on. Okay. Greg and I are celebrating five years of marriage this month. We've got baby number three on the way. We never struggled with insomnia until we had children. And when you have young children, your sleep gets interrupted a lot. Um, after waking up in the middle of the night to care for one of our children's needs, I would sometimes lay awake in bed for an hour or two I just couldn't turn off my thoughts and fall back asleep. So I would be going over my to-do list or I would be thinking about something in particular and I just couldn't fall asleep. Greg had a slightly different problem in that he couldn't fall asleep at the beginning of the night after a manic work day. We never considered taking a prescription sleep aid because we know that they have bad reputations for um, harmful effects and addictive chemicals and even over-the-counter sleep aids and natural sleep aids are at best health neutral. But a girlfriend of mine told me about fruit extracts, that there are a few fruits around the world that can help you sleep. We were a little skeptical at first that fruit could really do the job, but we tracked down these fruit extracts and we started taking them and they worked. Um, we were benefiting from these fruits for almost a year before we realized, hey, this could be a business idea because Nobody is combining the most effective fruits for sleep and marketing them for sleep, so why not us? So we started working with pharmacists and nutritionists to create test capsules and to try them out on our friends and their friends to make sure this worked for other people too, and it did. And so what we've developed is called Berry Sleepy, super fruits for super sleep. Um, this is the first 100% fruit sleep aid. These fruits are proven to help you sleep. Passion fruit helps you calm down and relax so that you can fall asleep quickly and gently. And then tart cherries help regulate sleep cycles. 
And then goji berries help you to not only fall asleep, but they help you to wake up feeling refreshed. So you don't have to wake up with a groggy hangover feeling um, or struggle with driving the next morning. Um, since it's just fruit, this is non-addictive, and it has naturally occurring vitamins and antioxidants that provide many bonus benefits, such as anti-inflammation. That can help if a person suffers from arthritis or just an athlete after a tough workout. Um, these fruits have also been shown to help with lowering cholesterol. Uh, so those are bonus benefits. And to use Berry Sleepy, you simply take one to two capsules at the beginning of the night and or in the middle of the night, um, whatever your sleep issue is. And for most people, this works on the first dose, especially if they only struggle with occasional sleeplessness. Um, for other people, especially those who struggle with chronic insomnia, it can take a few weeks to get their sleep cycles regulated. That's why we offer a 45-day, 110% money-back guarantee and fast and free shipping. To order, people just visit our website, berriesleepy.com. This is our homepage and our product page. Um, our 60 count bottle retails at $39.97. We offer a bit of a discount if people order, order multiple bottles. If people take the suggested serving of two capsules nightly, this is a one month supply. If you're like me and can get away with just taking one capsule a night and you only take it a few times a week, then this could be a six month supply. With that, I'm going to hand it over to Greg, and he's going to tell you about the business of Very Sleepy. Thanks, Adrian. We decided to create Very Sleepy last August. Five months later, we started selling, and that's been about five months from that point to now. So it's been a whirlwind 10 months for the Doring family. Uh, to date, 99 plus percent of our business has been through the website online. Just in the last couple of weeks, we have uh, begun to dabble with retail, with uh, the Hy-Vee and Prairie Village being our first local location, which we're very excited about. When we got, when we got started in January, we were fortunate to get some, uh, some local PR, local media, that really, really gave us a big initial spike with, uh, with business and was obviously very encouraging for us. Uh, we've, we've tried to ride that wave quite a ways, between that, uh, social media, and good old-fashioned word of mouth, uh, those are the big players in, in what's driving our business up to this point. Uh, we have dabbled with pay-per-click advertising, SEO, uh, affiliate marketing, but those are areas we, we're going to be putting more attention to uh, going forward. We're also, uh, we've made the first couple of cuts in, uh, to possibly be on ABC's Shark Tank for season five coming up. So we don't know how that's going to go, but we're excited to be, uh, to be in the game. Uh, the encouraging signs for us, one, reorders, number of reorders have been increasing every month. Obviously, that's a great vote of confidence for us. Uh, the, other, the other one is just the stories we're hearing. Uh, we've, we've heard many stories from people who, who've been struggling with sleep issues for literally decades who've tried many different over-the-counter and prescription sleep aids and have not found a good solution for them, nothing satisfactory. Uh, even a couple of cases of, of people you know, doing sleep studies at hospitals to try to get to the bottom of their issues. Uh, they've stumbled onto Very Sleepy, they tried it, and it was, it's what they've been looking for. They're ecstatic that they finally have, <laughs> can get good rest and have a better quality of life. And that's just really gratifying and humbling for us to be able to impact those lives with our little product. Um, we, we think of the big picture, the market sets up really well. The reality is, is 83% uh, 83, 83 of people, of Americans, struggle at least occasionally with sleep issues. Uh, and prescription sleep aids are very unpopular uh, because of the, the side effects and the things that Adrian mentioned. Uh, and, and that reality has really helped the, the sleep aid industry grow in the last several years uh, substantially. And the, the fastest growing segment of sleep aid industry are natural sleep aids. So we're, we think we're in the right place at the right time. Uh, going forward, we really want to target uh, four particular markets. Uh, I'd say the, the Whole Foods devotee, I call them affluent health nuts, uh, as well as fitness fanatics or athletes, seniors, 
and young parents like us are all, uh, I think, good, good populations to be trying to bring Barry Sleepy to. Uh, we also need to strengthen up our presence on the web. Uh, beyond Kansas City, we're still fairly undiscovered. Uh, so it's important to us to, to beef that up and bring more traffic onto our site. And we'd also like to do more with retail, uh, get more of a foothold in, in the Kansas City area, but also dreaming a little bit, hopefully someday getting on the shelves of a GNC, a Whole Foods, places like that. And that's really uh, Berry Sleepy in a nutshell. Uh, there is, there's currently nothing like Berry Sleepy on the market right now. We have a very unique product that we're excited about. It's a healthy product that people can actually feel good about taking, which is not usually the case with sleep aids. And I think with that, we're about out of time, and we'd love to have questions. We've got a question over here. I'm asking on their behalf. And the question is, what is the best time of day to be taking Berry Sleepy? Good question. Uh, it actually works pretty fast, um, usually 20 to 30 minutes. So I'd say maybe when you're beginning your, uh, your wind down routine or getting ready for bed to go ahead and, and take Berry Sleepy. Uh, because it seems to work so fast, uh, I mean, Adrian, the time she uses the most is in the middle of the night. She'll wake up in the middle of the night, like she said. And taking it, she can get back to sleep relatively fast. You don't have to have a full eight-hour stretch to take it. Uh, one, one question and then one suggestion. You said you're really, really encouraged about reorders. First question would be, what percentage of um, your clients are, in fact, reordering? And number two, have you considered maybe doing a significant discount for an auto ship? Put them on automatic bank draft and an auto ship. So an automatic guaranteed recurrent income stream, but maybe... 2750 or 30 or something, but a significant discount. What you'll find is people will really, really stick with those programs, so I'd encourage you to do that. But back on my question. Okay, no, that's good. It's a great idea. We, we don't have the auto ship auto ship option yet, but that's a great idea. Yep, uh, but we've, and I, th I think about 20, 20 to 25% of our bottles sold or reorders right now, so. We've only been going for five months. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Greg, we've got one for you yep. back here at the tables. Um, well, there are a lot of anti-anxiety drugs on the market that people have trouble with, like benzos, because they can become addictive. Um, do you see this as maybe something that could not just help you sleep, but help you kind of calm down during the day? And um, also, where could you find maybe some information about what these type, what kind of effects these fruits might have that you could just use to go buy the fruits and eat them? Yeah, well, our, uh, the title on our bottle is Relaxing Superfruits, and we call it, um, our blend is a sleep and relaxation blend. So yeah, I think it could be used for relaxation as well. Um, and then as far as finding out more about the fruits, on our website we have a fruits page and that talks about um, the different studies that have been done to show how these fruits work and what's actually in the fruits, the naturally occurring minerals and compounds that help you to get to sleep. Right up here in front. A suggestion. Uh, you should start talking to service groups around town. Uh, they love to have speakers come in and they'll feed you. <laughs> And that's they, a win-win. Everybody who belongs to these service groups has a network, and that's what you're looking for. It's a Thank great you very idea. much. Thank you. Question for you back here. Uh, where are you producing um, the capsules, and how are you controlling the QA process yep. to ensure that you're getting a consistent product and that you're not con getting contaminants? The first recall will be catastrophic, right? Sure. Sure. We, uh, we looked at a lot of different manufacturers. Uh, we'd, we'd love to do it closer to Kansas City, uh, but there isn't really uh, too many nutraceutical farm manufacturers here. Uh, our manufacturer is in Northern California, and uh, they, are, they came very highly recommended from some nutritional experts uh, that I've been, I've been working with. And uh, they, have, they have very high standards. They're, I mean, it's... Uh, all, all manufacturing has to be FDA approved, but they're, they're a part of a number of associations that have much higher bars than that. Uh, so we, we feel very confident with our manufacturer. 
And we get certificates of analysis with each shipment that tell us you know, where they're coming from. We, we want the um, ingredients to come from the same place because we know those work. <laughs> so we are monitoring that. Question over here on the right, on your left. Um, do you, have you thought about using this with children? I know of a number of young children who have significant sleep problems and are on all kinds of weird drugs and stuff. So this seems like it would be a much more um, safe method for, for children. Has there been any thought on that? That's a great, that's a great question. It's our most frequently asked question. Can we give this to kids? Um, as far as liability, this is intended for people ages 18 and up. We would like to be able to uh, make some tweaks and do some testing so that we could have a Berry Sleepy for kids and maybe offer it in a gummy or something. So that's definitely probably the first thing we'd want to expand into. Um, but we do, know, we do know some people are taking it that are younger. Right here in the second row. Um, from a learning thing, can you maybe go over a couple minutes about how you went from the idea to finding people to put the, the materials together, figuring out the formula and all that? <laughs> there might be other people here who have some similar ideas. And also tying in with that, are there any kind of protections you have, barriers to entry from other people copying the blend or anything like that? Uh, taking your second part of your question first, uh, we're not able to patent this. Uh, we do have, it's a proprietary blend. Uh, we, on the bottle, we show the ingredients, not the proportions, not the power of the extracts. Uh, so that's a trade secret. But, uh, I mean, it's not terribly well protected, which, you know, gives us all the more impetus to, to get it out on the market and, and have primacy first uh, to, to at least have a, a leg up on copycats. And then as far as the story, yeah, we're business people. We have business degrees. We are not pharmacists, but my brother is a pharmacist. So we started picking his brain, and he connected us with a pharmacist in Lawrence who did our test capsules since we just wanted a real small run. Once we figured out the right formula and we figured out this is working, we want to do this, that's when we started researching. And Greg has a buddy that used to have a vitamin shop. It's kind of mom and pop GNC essentially. And so Greg met with that mentor several times to find out, okay, who are the manufacturers with good reputations? Then we went into pricing and that's when we found our manufacturer. And I hope that answers your Off question. And <laughs> Another question here on the left. Mm -hmm. In the uh, five months of development, how did you uh, develop the dosage amount for the capsules? Uh, during that time? Our, well, one, we were obviously limited, limited with uh, how much fruit you can put in a couple of capsules. Um, so that, that helped uh, keep it down. But our, our initial, our baseline was that we, we'd been trying for, uh, for quite a while to you know, get the sleep. And we'd found the extracts that worked for us and the doses that worked for us. So that's what we started with is we know these work, and now, now let's tinker, let's play, let's make a number of different uh, options and test them with people and see what, what's optimal, see what works best. Question for you right here. You've sort of touched on it already, but um, can you talk more about, obviously, goji from Southeast Asia and acai from Brazil, and you're clearly getting stuff from all over the world. Is that in your guys' hands, or is the manufacturer taking care of all that, and how did you get linked up with distributors in all across the world? Uh, our manufacturer takes care of the sourcing. Um, so we don't, we don't have to do that part of it. Question back here on the left. So I have fibromyalgia, and one of the issues we have is issues with sleep, among other things. Um, we don't go into the deep um, stage of sleep, and so that's why we're so tired all the time and get that brain fog from just being chronically um, tired. Have any of the studies um, focused on people with fibromyalgia and um, helping to remedy that issue with the sleep patterns? I'm not familiar with the studies that are directly focused on fibromyalgia, um, but we do know that, 
Um, you should talk to your doctor before you take any kind of supplement to make sure that it's not going to interact with any drugs that you're currently taking. Um, but a lot of people who suffer from sleeplessness because of other prescription drugs they're on, um, one of our customers told us that she is on a breast cancer medicine that causes sleeplessness. And she talked to her doctor, she was allowed to take Berry Sleepy, and it's helping her. So now she can get the sleep she needs. Um, that testimonial is on our website too. So we have been hearing from a lot of people who have sleep problems, not because they have young children, but because they have pain or they have illness or you know a number of other stress factors in their life. Right here in front. Mm -hmm. Hi, you may have answered this, but my question was, do you have any studies on if there's any interaction with blood pressure medicine or um, antidepressants or anything like that? Do you know that, or is the answer just to check with the doctor first? Yeah, we, we, we don't have studies. We would love to, and we've looked into, you know, what would it take to do a real scientific clinical study uh, to get what we, uh, the data that we really would love to have. The reality is those studies probably start at $150,000 to do uh, for an overnight sleep study to do it right. Um, so unfortunately, we're <laughs> we don't have that money just yet, uh, but uh, hopefully down the road, we'd still like to do that. You want to add anything? Or? Back here on your left. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of health food people use melatonin as a sleep aid. What makes this different? And uh, secondly, secondarily, uh, what were your startup costs, and how did you finance them? Um, well, first, regarding melatonin, uh, most people who are taking melatonin are usually taking an overdose of melatonin. Um, we found a study that um, basically an MIT researcher shows that the, the most effective dosage of melatonin is actually 0.3 milligrams, and you can get melatonin up to 10 milligrams, so you're taking more than 30 times the optimal dosage, and over time this can cause the hormone to stop working altogether. So melatonin uh, can be dangerous from that point of view, um, but actually tart cherries contain low levels of naturally occurring melatonin. So there is melatonin in our product, not because we added melatonin or anything else to our product, but because it is within the tart cherries, but it's a low level dose that is a safe level for you to take. Um, Question for you right here. Startup costs? Oh, startup costs, we are bootstrapping this whole thing. We just saved up and um, we're just, that's why most of our PR is just, you know, any free media we can get, social media, if you would please like our Twitter and Facebook and tell your <laughs> friends, um, because we don't have other investors at this time. Um, you, you mentioned going on Shark Tank. Mm -hmm. What are you hoping to get out of that experience? First and foremost, incredible publicity. Uh, seven million people uh, hearing and, and learning about your product and your business for about seven minutes uh, is pretty amazing. And obviously also their connections. Um, because this isn't a, uh, a very protected product, I mean, we could get copycats uh, with this. The best, the best thing to do in that, in that case is to just get out there quick and, and be established with your brand. And uh, the, the connections that those guys have and the, that those ladies have are, uh, are amazing and could really accelerate that. And it's fun. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun with it. We're probably going to uh, release our Shark Tank audition video later this summer, and it's, it's really playful and fun. So you can watch back, for that. Back here at the tables. Yes, you mentioned that you had gone through, a, a, I guess, a number of formulations of the mix of the components, and I was wondering if you could share with us a little bit how, what kind of research or what kind of testing you did to determine effectiveness of the product in general, and then specifically each of the formulations that you then came up with. That's a great question, but I kind of feel like this is the one thing we have as a trade secret, so I'm a little hesitant to tell about how we got to this point with our effective formula. This is all we have that's protected is this secret, and we have to keep it a secret. So that's my answer. <laughs> <laughs> Question right here in the middle. Since everyone's a bargain these days, how do you plan on competing with price? Most melatonin I've seen, which most people I know who use, it's about 10 bucks for 90 count. Right. Yeah, that's, 
there's a bit, there's a wide spectrum for pricing for natural sleep aids right now. And the reality is we're actually more in the middle. Yes, you have on one end, you could go to CVS and get a, get a bottle of melatonin on the cheap. Uh, on the other end, one of the fastest growing natural sleep aid companies, it's a product called Dream Water. And it's, it's a two and a half ounce shot, kind of the antithesis of a five hour energy drink. And, uh, and those, for one, for one night, for one dose, those go for between three and 350. And so breaking it down, we're about, we're a little over a dollar a night if you take two capsules. If you can get by with one, then it's, it's even more of a, a deal. But like Greg said before, we're targeting more of a, as he said, an affluent health nut, somebody that is wi willing to pay a little bit more to make sure that they're putting something healthy in their body. Back here at the tables again. Yes, uh, <clears throat> going back to your desire to be on Shark Tank, uh, you might get ripped to shreds there, but uh, do, you know, do you know what your uh, valuation is? And can you talk about sales at all? I don't know that we'd want to do that with a group this size, but maybe afterwards if you want to come up and chat. <laughs> Question for you right here. This is very exciting, and you would be cute on, on Shark Tank, but, you know. <laughs> and, and I find it interesting that you're saying that you're more interested in the publicity than the investment. Are you looking for investments, investment partners here in Kansas City? And has the FDA changed the law on testimonials, on what you can say and where you can park those? Um. I'm not sure about any law changes. We do have at the bottom of every web page and on our bottle all the FDA disclaimers about, you know, we're not, this is not intended to cure any disease and all of that language. Um, so we have a lot of FDA disclaimer language. I'm not familiar with um, any specific changes to testimonials. So maybe you can share that with us afterwards. Um, as far as investment, do you want to cover that? Yeah, um, I mean, right now we're not looking for investors, but uh, I mean, this is all happening so fast, and our learning curve every day is high, and, and we're we're definitely growing in our knowledge of how retail and e-commerce work. So down the road, it would not be out of the question to to possibly bring in an investor if we thought that made sense, but not at this point. Okay, we have one last question here on the left. Great. Uh, you may have preempted my question with your last remark, but <clears throat> I was kind of sitting here thinking, well, I can recognize serial entrepreneurs when I see them. Uh, and so I'm wondering at this point, given that things are moving very fast, uh, do you think about five years from now? And given the fact that this product you know, may or may not be able to be uh, you know, grown without a lot of external competition, uh, <clears throat> do you have time to think about what's next? <laughs> <laughs> uh, at this point, pr no, no, we, we are. I feel in, like I barely have time to think about the baby coming, so let alone five years from that's now. That's what's next. <laughs> um, we're, we're completely immersed right now in, in very sleepy world. Um, I mean, we're, tomorrow and the future to that extent will, will take care of itself. I mean, you know, it's funny. A year and a half ago, we would never have dreamed that we'd be at Kaufman presenting Barry Sleep here, you know, this <laughs> new product that's, that's having some great initial success. So it's, uh, it's hard to focus too much on, on down the road. But, but I would say that as far as the serial entrepreneurship thing, we have both always dreamed of being entrepreneurs. I had the great blessing, thanks to Margot Quiricone hiring me, she's here in the back, uh, to work here at the Kaufman Foundation, which was so awesome, right out of college. So. Um, yeah, so I think we would love to continue to work in business. Hopefully, we can really get Barry Sleepy off the ground as our first real business. All right, one last question real quick. We'll make it fast. Uh, you've got probably one of the biggest rooms that we've ever had. <laughs> what can we as a community do to help you guys grow? So glad you asked that, George. <laughs> Go ahead. OK. Um, I think we, we had three things that we would love um, help with beyond liking our social media accounts. Um, one is if any, we're just looking for help, mentors, whatever, for a few key areas, and that's 
traffic, website traffic um, that's relevant. Um, and then retail, we are just dipping our toes in the water. We have no, we're just barely learning about going retail, working on our first point of purchase displays and what should be on those. And so we're working on that. And then publicity. the third thing is publicity. We've been so blessed to get great local publicity, but I would love to see us get the word out nationally. We're still kind of waiting for that big break. Um, you know, we've been on TV here locally, but what if we could be on TV nationally? So uh, if anybody has advice for us, if you've learned throughout, you know, whatever businesses you have, we'd love to pick your brains in those three areas. Yeah, awesome. We're definitely all ears, so thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
is Healthy Food and, and Nutrition Day. So uh, we heard about Very Sleepy and how you need a good night's sleep. So the flip side of that is getting good nutrition. And so our next presenter, Nathan Korn, is with Flex Pro Meals. And you know, as somebody who lives by the rule, pork fat rules, you know, I don't always get the best nutrition, but, uh, but Nathan and his products look amazing. So he's gonna tell us how to uh, get a, a great nutritious meal delivered anywhere along with uh, your exercise program. Please welcome Nathan Korn. Thanks, man. Morning. Just sing on. Morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Nathan. The company is called Flex Pro Meals. This is my partner, Lauren Kimball. Um, so, so what Flex Pro Meals is, we design nutritional meal plans and nutritional meals based off our clients' fitness goals. We then prepare and deliver and ship our meals fresh to our client's front door every single week. So, so our, our battle is that we are an overfed, undernourished nation digging an early grave with our teeth. When you're trying to reach your fitness goals, right, and live a healthier lifestyle, nutrition is 80% of it, which means that if you're not eating exactly what you need to be, then, then you're probably not going to, to reach your, your goals. And so with, with that, I see two problems here. And number one, as a people, we don't really know what to eat. And secondly, even if we did know what to eat, we wouldn't have time to, to cook it, right? And I, I'm, I'm just guessing there's maybe one or two entrepreneurs in the crowd today. So when you get in that groove, you're working so hard and you're not done till like 11 p.m. or, or 1 a.m. Or, or something like that. Well, I've got good news. You don't have to go to Mickey D's anymore at night because we could be in your fridge and you just throw us in the microwave. I'm about to tell you how it works. Uh, so, so really, it's, it's not about eating more or eating less. Um, but we believe that it's about eating smart, eating different. Food is meant to, to be enjoyed, but the moment we let it take control of how we are going to look, how we are going to feel, and how we are going to function, then it's gone too far. You control your destiny, and if you want to change your life, live a healthier lifestyle, and have the energy to, to run your business or just to live everyday life, then you're going to have to eat your way there. So, so that's exactly what we're doing at FlexPro. Uh, we're a web-based company. We've been open for about three months. Uh, already making revenue, and, and just so everyone knows here, I actually moved to Kansas City. I packed up everything and moved uh, from about six hours away, just because I, I believe that there was something here, and it was worth coming to to start everything up. And so, uh, and no, I, I don't regret that either. So well, this is uh, this is my website. It's flexpromeals.com, flexprofitness.com, and it really it's designed to be extremely simple. So number one, you see on the top left, choose your fitness goals. You say, Nathan, I want to lose weight. I want to I want to build muscle. I want to get bigger. Or Nathan, I just want healthy meals. Anything that you want, we've got it for you. And number two, once you choose, tell us your meal plan, your your fitness goals. Our chef gets to work. We prepare fresh gourmet meals. Uh, based off your dietary needs and a meal plan based around your fitness goals, right? And then once the food's ready, we deliver and ship food every single week right to your front door fresh. And, and it, really, it really doesn't get any easier than this. It's so easy. I, if you want, I will come inside your house. I will feed you the food. It's that easy, right? <laughs> there's, a, there's a premium for that, but I'll do it. So no, once you receive your package, you uh, simply take the package, put it in the microwave for the recommended amount of time, and bada bing, you have yourself a delicious, uh, healthy, gourmet meal. So the difference between us and, and, and what you know, we, we used to eat is, is really we're using fresh ingredients, all natural, no preservatives. I could, this is like Whole Foods, I could stop right there, because right there you have an awesome meal plan that helps you reach your fitness goals just like that. But Nathan, does it taste any good? It, it tastes awesome, actually. Gourmet meals, hand-packaged, kind of like you get from your grandma's kitchen during the holiday, only it's healthy. It's kind of hard to imagine. But we're also, we're also affordable as well, right? And then if, if you're a picky eater, that's great because we work perfectly with you. We're extremely flexible. So if you don't like this or if you don't like that, that's, it's really no problem at all. We're more than willing to, to work with you guys. So here's our biggest difference right here is that we ship food fresh nationwide. Like I said, I've been open for three months. We've shipped to 11 different states. Uh, actually, uh, this week I actually got a random order from somebody in Oregon who just found us on Google, right? And so, so it shows you uh, how, how big that, that we're, we're taking things. And, and this isn't just a, a one-time thing or a one-time order. These are customers ordering every single week. We ship food every single week to our clients nationwide. So we've been open for, for, for three months. 
And this is a chart of our revenue. This isn't a added up over time, but this is revenue per month, total revenue. And, and so you, you look at that and you know, we're, we're happy with that and, and, and that's great. But if I were to, to be honest, we haven't, we haven't scratched the surface of, of where we're going yet. Our chef is a baller. What he does, he, he, keeps, he keeps our clients coming back every single week. We've had clients order like three months straight. I was like, don't you, you know, we switch it up. We have variety and we were very creative. Secondly, we have the growth to meet, you see that map of the, the United States? We have the growth to meet that because we have a lease with the second largest kitchen in Kansas City that we work out of. So we work out of like the small corner and the huge kitchen, right? You have to have a map to go around it, but uh, you know we have something to, to grow into, and so it's working out awesome for us. Okay, and so and so you see that that you can see our our scalability and of how big that that we're willing to, to grow. I actually, whenever I came to Kansas City, I learned from the tech people. And if you if you have a startup, then get to know some tech guys. Get to know some tech startups because there's, there's a few of them in Kansas City, right? And because they'll teach you everything about SEO, website stuff, online things. And so from them, I was able to learn how to, to market my business nationwide and, and how, from, how to, to make sure this thing can, can be on the, the next level and that we can really change the world with, with food and, and living a healthier lifestyle. And so I, I can tell you, you know, that we are literally an online restaurant. Uh, you know, we're not just some restaurant where you have to, to walk into in, in a certain city, but we can cater to anybody utilizing the internet and, and the shipping technologies um, all over to, to take our food anywhere, anywhere you are. <laughs> so it's awesome how that, how that works. And, and you know, while I say that while we're, you know, going big and, and looking at shipping nationwide, and that's great, but our focus right now is to start here, start in Kansas City. And so... And so my, my challenge to you is, is if I can help you run your business, not with getting in under the, under the hood, but just with meals to give you more energy to, to eat healthy food, you know, check us out. Our website, we're going to have a laptop over there. You can talk to me. You can talk to, to Lauren. We got some fans in the crowd as well. And uh, just to, to, to help you, or if, or if you know anyone that's struggling eating healthy, maybe they don't have time, or maybe they're looking to, to change their, their body in some form or fashion, talk to us, refer them to us. You can access that from, from the comfort of your own home. You can order from us, and we'll, we'll ship it to you um, every single week. It's, it's no problem at all. So thank you. I feel healthier and hungrier. Who has a question? Um, I got a couple actually. Uh, you say it's fresh food, so if you're shipping to California, what's the time it takes to get there from the order? Is it does it come frozen or? It comes, it comes fresh. Uh, two business days. Two business days. That's what it does. So we have the uh, technologies to to make sure it gets there fresh and under the right temperature. Uh, two business days. UPS helps us out with that. And what's the uh, price point? Is there like a minimum order or, I mean, it's a weekly right. thing, so uh, you go yeah, into that a little bit. Typically our, our plans are uh, weekly plans. We serve about three to four meals a day. It depends on the plan. So you're looking at about 18 to $22 a day. Um, but we also have lunch and dinner options. We ship to uh, a couple people in Lawrence, Can Kansas, who uh, they just want dinners. And so, okay, you know, we'll give them dinners, we'll give them breakfast, whatever they want. Question right here. So do you have a feel for who your target customer ideally is, or are you just kind of trying to still feel that out? Right. Number um, one. And then number two, it seems like you have a pretty cool viral video coming telling us about your baller chef and how you'll walk into people's houses and feed them. Uh, and right. I think that may be uh, pretty well received by tech startup community, something like South by Southwest or something would yeah. eat that up, every pun intended. Well... <laughs> We're not sure what direction we're going to take the video in, but if there's any video production companies, not, not, not really, we probably won't. we might make a video. But uh, but what we're uh, what we're looking at is um, is for um, the first question. What was the first question? <laughs> target customer. To be, to be honest, like my main target, like you know, we're targeting personal trainers. Uh, we we've partnered up with different professional athletes. Uh, things like that, but a big chunk of our, our clients, people just don't have time to cook, you know? And so, hey, that's great, you know, we're more than happy to, to help you out and to work with you, and, and, uh, and that, that's, that's how it's been going. So we don't have a, a direct target yet. Right now, we're just kind of, you know, we're meeting everyone's, everyone's needs right now. It's just, rather, if you have a problem with not knowing what to eat or not having time, we can be there for you. Back here in the middle. 
Are your products GMO free? GMO free? Yes. Right here. So you mentioned that you can work around picky eaters. But right. I'm a vegetarian, and I know a lot of people who are gluten free. Um, right. Do you work around that as well, or do you have vegetarian Ab options? Absolutely. We actually are working on a vegan plan um, that we're going to introduce probably within the next few months. Uh, we wanted to get a little more creative with, with the vegan side rather than just give someone a meal and take the meat out, right? And so, uh, but as far as gluten goes, we're at about 95% of our meals are gluten free. So we actually, we've actually considered being like a, a gluten free certified kitchen because there's not many of those in the, in the United States. And uh, so we're looking into that. It's a long process, but, but we're, we're working on it. Back here in the middle. You said a large portion of your clientele was just coming from folks that uh, don't really have time to cook. Um, uh, no sarcasm intended, but you've got a big healthy option. What about those of us that are maybe not too worried about that and don't have time to cook? Do you have a chicken wing menu? <laughs> you know what? You, you all laugh, but I promise you, next week on our menu, we are having chicken wings. I just discussed it with my chef. It's going to be like a, a honey and an herb type chicken wing, so give it a shot. I think you might, you might like it. Over here on your left. Uh, how are you going about advertising and reaching the people who you're trying to get to? Right. Um, our biggest form of advertising is really a referral. You know, our customers love the food. If you love something, you're going to tell other people about it. It's just a general reaction, right? And so that's our biggest referral right now. Uh, we also have several different trainers that we work with uh, who, who will tell their clients uh, about us too. Right here in the front. I think I love your product, but I know I love it if you do paleo meals. We're getting there. We actually, uh, we, we just, we have a chart of uh, the paleo. We're kind of formulating our recipes. Um, and so there's a few other companies in the Kansas City area that we've kind of talked to and, and uh, getting some ideas down. We, we want, whenever we approach a new meal plan like that, because I know that's going viral right now, is that uh, we really want to hit it head on and, and get our recipes down pat and make sure they taste good. Uh, and then also, you know, they meet the, the right uh, ingredients, qualifications. Yeah. Right up here. So the idea of healthy meal coming to my door is one thing. And then you tell us to put it in the microwave. Um, there's a lot of health nuts that would probably think that, you know, the nutritional value of your food decreases when you microwave it. So have you thought about um, packaging it so that it could be put into the oven or... A uh, toaster oven or something? Uh, um, yeah, to, that was kind of one of the things that uh, we, we researched at first. I, uh, if, I guess it's, it's a matter of opinion, um, but personally I know that the microwave, I don't really think it. It depends on how, how much the nutritional value of, of something, it's how much, how often you cook it, at how, how high of a temperature. And the microwave is actually cook something at a lot lower temperature than like an oven or something like that. We, are, we do have, uh, you know, some of our clients will put their meals in the oven. They don't like, so it's, it's oven friendly. Um, but most of our clients will just use the microwave. Good question. I'm gonna, I have a question on Twitter actually. Are there any trial, this over here on the left, any trial uh, meals available? Yeah, check out our website, flexpromeals.com, flexprofitness.com. We have a sample pack. You can try three meals. It's like nine meals, just a variety of, uh, of meals you can try out. And then another question right here. Uh, how focused are you on sustainability from the containers being um, compostable or local produce, organic produce? Where are you sourcing your ingredients? And then I think kind of hitting on the microwave, uh, yeah, any other container that they could put in the oven. Sure. Uh, well, as far as the source, it's really uh, trial and error. Uh, so we had to do a lot of experimenting when we, we came out because, you know, there's different, uh, you have to look when you're buying a food, you have to look at cost, but you also look at quality and taste, how long it lasts and stuff like that. We slow roast all of our meats and so, and once we slow roast the meat, if, if it comes out all tough and everything, probably not going to get meat from that, from that company again. So we really, we're extremely creative where we get our ingredients from. Uh, we, we've kind of uh, trial and error, learned from the, the best place. Right, mostly conventional. We want to have an organic line, um, but right now trying to, to keep it affordable uh, and just introducing it. But organic line is definitely something that is a priority to me, and so it's something that we want to uh, introduce in the future. Nathan, back here in the center. 
How many meals do you get out of 18 to 22 dollars a day? Right, you're looking at about, uh, there's five day plans, seven day plans. Uh, if you're looking at, depends on the plan, but uh, for the $18, that's our healthy living plan, you get three meals a day. Uh, it's, you know, it's designed for people who just don't have time to, to cook, and if, if you don't have, you know, time to, a lot of people are really busy, may not have time to eat four meals, so we made it three. The other ones are four meals a day. Over here on your left. Left, oh. or you're right. <laughs> I, got you. I have a few things. Um, one, clearly you're dealing with athletes and people who are training that like to eat a lot of food. Right. So is it fairly cookie cutter or could somebody get on a 6,000 calorie diet with you? Um, could people that are really trying to pound food, pound six meals a day with you? I mean, how customizable is it? Absolutely, oh, go ahead, keep going. Go ahead, I'll let you answer first. Okay, sure, uh, we, have, we have a customized diet. You won't see it on the, the website because I wanted to make it extremely simple, but uh, whenever I talk to customers and, and reach out to them, I, uh, I will send them the information about it. And so really, I work with different fitness models who, uh, who are preparing for shows. I measure food to the ounce for people who are that particular. They want six meals a day, they're gonna get six meals a day. Awesome. Um, and then a suggestion for marketing or just getting out to people with, uh, that are internet savvy. There's large uh, Reddit communities of Paleo and CrossFit and stuff like that um, that get thousands and thousands and thousands of views on posts like this. And so if you were to go on there and uh, post something about, you know, new startup doing online meals shipped to your door, healthy, organic, no GMOs, blah, 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 I think you could get some serious traction with Reddit communities all over the nation. Yeah, yeah that's awesome. Yeah, talk to me about that later. That'd be a Absolutely. really interesting, actually. Thank for sure. You. Yeah. Question back here at the tables. Yes, um, I, I enjoyed your presentation. Nice. Very animated. I, I like that this hour of the morning. Um, I, while you were talking, I went ahead and Googled pre-cooked healthy meals, and you're not alone in that space. So I, I guess my question for you is, what kind of market analysis have you done, and how are you planning to distinguish yourself in what, I wouldn't say it's an incredibly crowded market, but it's certainly... Uh, seems to be getting there. Yeah, sure. Well, we uh, we are the only ones who will promote shipping food fresh nationwide. You're going to see other Kansas City companies that do similar things to what we do. Um, that but they deliver and they, they don't ship or anything like that. Also, if if you check the the pricing point, a lot of the other companies will offer discounts to maybe trainers and stuff like that. But to the general public, uh, if you look at the price compared to ours, it's it's really no comparison. Um, and then as, as far as, uh, so really that's kind of the, the things that we go off on. There's, we have a couple flyers uh, that will be over here, and there's a testimonial on that flyer. It's, it's an awesome testimonial. It's, not, it's a real customer, and he's actually from Ohio. Uh, so it shows you, you know, he orders every week, so it kind of shows you some of our, you know, how do people around the, around the country uh, see us. I have a question real quick. Here on your right, I actually got it right this time. Um, what you, I mean, I know you're focused on Kansas City right now, but you talked about the fact that you're shipping meals to the coasts. I, I'm just trying to wrap my head around. In my mind, you'd have to freeze the food to do that. How are you getting food from Kansas City to the coast fresh? How fast does it get out there? How is that kept fresh? Right. I guess is question. We go, uh, um, we, we keep it fresh by uh, two day shipping. We ship two a ground. So UPS, UPS is extremely efficient. I've got to know them pretty well the past three months. And so uh, we, you know, they're, they're just on it. And so they, every time, they've never let me down as far as they say, oh, it's going to be there in two days. It's there in two days. And then what we also do is, um, is sometimes whenever we go that far, especially when we're shipping from here, we may partially halfway freeze a meal. And uh, it's kind of like whenever you go to the, the store, uh, Costco or Sam's, and you buy fresh fish, right? Whenever that fish was caught, it was partially frozen. And uh, so you get it fresh by the time it gets there. It's kind of how it works. Okay, Nathan, we have a question from the live stream. Mindy asks, what do you use for packaging, and are your meal packages recyclable or reusable? Um, yeah, I mean, we don't, uh, once we send out the packages to our client, we don't, you know, have them return their packages to us. But, uh, I mean, they can, you know, they can reuse them if, if they want to. Save, save them money, uh, you know, a ton of, uh, so you're getting a lot of packages there. And um, so, so that's uh, a good way to, to do it. And what we, how we do it, we ship in styrofoam coolers uh, that, that are pretty thick. And so it, uh, you know, allows for the food to, you know, stay insulated and everything like that. Right here up front. Um, two things. I, as far as the microwave issue, the reality is the only time you're going to be near an oven, you're probably also near a pan. So you could probably maybe just put directions on, on oven cooking on your package and say use a oven safe dish. So I don't think you need to really freak out about 
the microwave versus oven packaging. But based on your answer a second ago, you might get caught up if you're going to constantly use the word fresh, but then you also say partially frozen, you're going to get some people who might have a hang up with you claiming everything's fresh and then find out, oh, it was actually frozen. Right. So sure. you might need to work on that answer a little bit. OK, thank you. All right, Nathan, I have a question for you. What are your two personal favorite meals? Oh, man, where to start? Um, I'm a big fan of pasta, and so we do like a whole wheat pasta. Um, is, that's just kind of a personal preference. Our biggest, our biggest thing, though, is our pot roast. Uh, we slow roast our beef, so uh, whenever you heat it up, it's, it's shredded, right? And it comes with, uh, you know, different ingredients and herbs all in it. So that's, that's one of our, our biggest favorites. And I'll be honest with you, when we send little treats, um, when our clients order meals, we, order, we have little flex balls made of like peanut butter, honey, oats, and, and uh, a little, couple of like little Rice Krispies to give it a crunch. Uh, so like, you know, those are some big popular, you know, it's really cool how, you know, we don't have just like two, oh, hands down, that's the favorite, but it's all over the board. You know, some people love our salmon, some people don't like seafood, so they like, you know, these different things. Question for you right here. So is your primary source of creating the food just that one baller chef that you were talking about, or in the, f and in the future, are you planning on expanding how your food is, is created? Yeah, kind of how we do it is, is, you know, times change and, and we don't want our clients to, to get bored. So one of our, our big focuses is staying creative, being variety, not just a, you know, from what does the chef think, but it more so goes for, you know, I take advice from Lauren. She's like, hey, have you thought about this or have you thought about that? And I, you know, look at uh, recipes online, different things like that, things that we can do that, or even you can go on, uh, you know, even like Pinterest or something like that. And you can see, you know, what's popular? What meal plan is popular? Is there something that, that we could do? So it really gets creative. We're open to a lot of ideas it's like that. Over here on the right. So this is Casey. I'm going to ask the stereotypical question. Is there barbecue sauce? <laughs> and if so, who are you collaborating with to make that happen? Please say it's a Kansas City company. <laughs> it's funny you say that. Actually, I, I promise I'm not just making this up. But we actually, we talked about that yesterday. Um, that's something that we want to come up with, and we think we can do it. We haven't tested it yet, but it's coming. Back here in the middle. Um, what, what's your pricing strategy based on? One of the things you said earlier was that one of the competitive advantages was low cost, right? So what happens when there's more competition and you've got to bring your cost down? Do you have a margin structure that allows you to still be able to make money at a lower price point if you're already starting at a low price point. Right. Yeah, we, we definitely do. One of the big things for us is um, a lot of companies are going for a storefront, and that's one of the things that, that we are not going to do because once you have a storefront, okay, location matters now. You know, it's a lot, you know, it's cost uh, overhead. Someone has to be there all the time to, to be open and things like that. Being able to just take the food to our clients, um, gives us a, a pretty big advantage as far as the cost, and, and that's just one example of, uh, of how we do it. But that's something that you know, we've, we've kind of looked into, and, uh, and that we're, it's, it wouldn't be a big deal if we had to. Yeah. OK, last question here over on your right. This is an easy one. I pulled up Flex Pro Meals on Twitter, and I couldn't find you. Are you guys on a different handle, or are you on Twitter? Yeah, we, we should be. I'll have to check it out. Is it Flex Pro Meals? Yeah, Flex Pro Meals. Okay. Or if not, uh, like us on Facebook. You'll, you'll see us Flex Pro LC. Uh, we'd, love to, we'd love to get our likes up. So. Sweet. All right, Nathan, you've got the last 10 seconds to say something to this crowd. Say, oh, 10 seconds, huh? I might give you 30. OK. <laughs> um, FlexProMeals.com. Uh, check out my meals. Tell somebody about it. We want to grow in Kansas City. We're looking to, to reach out to healthy community, help some, you know, help some people with, with more energy, live a healthier lifestyle. Give me, my business cards are back there, has my personal cell phone number on it, so you can give it a call. I'm more than happy to work with you on, on reaching your fitness goals and living a healthier lifestyle. Thank you very much, Nathan. Thanks. All right, that's all the time we have. I've gotten my exercise for the week, so we'll see you next Wednesday.